This video is going to focus on two inventions that changed the economy of the United States and caused the United States economy to go from a poor, bad economy in the late 1700s to by the mid to late 1800s a booming economy that was one of the world's strongest. The story starts with a guy named Eli Whitney. He was actually from Connecticut, so he was one of our most famous people in Connecticut, today at least. He has a museum you can go see down uh, down by the shore somewhere. Eli Whitney was an inventor, and he actually really hated the practice of slavery being from the North. He thought he could help reduce slavery by eliminating the need for slave labor and eliminating the need for a workforce. So he invented a machine called the cotton gin, which is short for cotton engine, and he invented it somewhere in the mid-1790s. The cotton gin removes seeds from cotton so that it doesn't need to be done by hand. Um, when you remove cotton seeds by hand, to take one little cotton ball might take five minutes just to pick the seeds out of one cotton ball. So in order to harvest cotton, you need a whole bunch of slaves to pick the seeds out. Quite honestly, it wasn't even really that profitable of a farming venture simply because you needed so many slaves just to pick seeds out of cotton, you couldn't grow it very fast. Well. With the cotton gin, invented by Eli, Eli Whitney, one person could harvest cotton approximately 10 times faster. So Eli Whitney thought, hey, less slaves needed to pick seeds out of cotton, I'm going to help reduce slavery. Unfortunately for Mr. Whitney, the effects of the cotton gin were precisely the opposite. Slavery was already on the decline in the late 1700s. Tobacco was the main crop of the South, and tobacco fields were, were becoming less and less profitable plantation owners were selling their slaves until, of course, the cotton gin was invented. The cotton gin allows the South to plant a lot more cotton instead of tobacco. And the South realized very quickly that they could make a ton of money off of cotton. They could sell that cotton to the North, they could sell it to English factories, they could just make so much money. So almost overnight, once the cotton gin is invented, all the Southern plantation owners, they rip up their tobacco fields and they grow cotton. Yeah, one slave could pick the seeds out of cotton faster with the cotton gin, but now plantation owners were growing hundreds, and if not thousands, times more cotton, and slavery went on the increase. And in fact, slavery is going to increase almost 75% over the next 50 years after the invention of the cotton gin. So cotton plantations expand west, and the South's economy is doing better than ever growing cotton. Let's head to the north for a little bit. The South's economy was transformed by the cotton gin and starting to sell cotton as their main crop and their main export. In the North, they used to make money mostly by trading. And that changed with the Industrial Revolution and the invention of the steam factory. England was the main factory producer in the world in the 1700s, but they kept their factory system a secret. They wouldn't let other countries know how they were able to produce materials at such a fast rate. Until this one guy named Samuel Slater stole the invention from England. He was actually an Englishman. He worked in a factory, and he realized that he could take his secret to the United States, set up factories in the United States, and make a bunch of money. So he moved to Rhode Island in the 17, late 1700s, and he began a factory in Rhode Island. Another guy came along a little bit later on. His name was uh, Francis Cabot Lowell. And Lowell looked at the lack of American factories in 1812 and capitalized on the War of 1812 to expand factory systems in the North. During the War of 1812, there was no imports coming in from England because of the war. So Lowell set up his own factories to take the place of the English imports. Thanks to Slater and Lowell, factories spread across New England, across the North, and another invention, the invention of steam power, allowed factories to be built anywhere. With a steam engine, you could run a factory in the middle of a field, you could run a factory anywhere. You didn't need a river with a water wheel to power the, the factory. So within, by 1850, um, throughout the early 1800s up until the mid-1800s, you see this boom in factories in the north. Everyone's working in factories. It replaces trade as the main amount of money. So the effects of this, factories became incredibly profitable. Cotton growth in the South, the cotton that was grown in the South now had a place to go in the North, grew, grew cotton in the South, made it into shirts in the North. It was a perfect system. More and more factories are going to be built in the North. More people are going to move away from rural areas and toward mills for work. 
this is going to cause cities to grow at rapid speeds. So in the north you have this huge growth of cities in the 1800s. People aren't living on small individual farms anymore. They're moving into the city and it starts to look more like that. Manufacturing and industry replace trade as the top way to make money. So let's take a look at this just recap here. How did these two inventions cause the nation's economy to grow? Well, the cotton gin and the Industrial Revolution caused the U.S. economy to grow rapidly. In the 1790s, the economy of the United States is very weak. By the mid-1800s, the economy of the United States is one of the strongest in the world. The South becomes more reliant on slave labor for their growing economy than ever before. And because cotton becomes such an important thing to the South to keep their economy strong, they are less and less likely to get rid of their slave labor that fuels their economy. The North becomes more industrialized, and manufacturing starts to replace trade as the number one way to make money. And finally, cities in the North are going to grow as more citizens move away from farms and towards factories for work.